everybody. Welcome to Pro World Live. I'm Danielle from Pro World. I'm Jonna from Hope. It's me behind the camera. <laughs> so we are all here ready to show you how to sublimate on camper mugs. These are a newer, uh, whoa, <laughs> a newer product that we have. They are the uh, enamel camper mugs rimmed with a uh, color. We have a blue, a red, and a black. So we are going to jump right in and show you, of course, after our shout outs. So if you are familiar with our program and you watch us every week, make sure you chime in, let us know where you're tuning in from. We love to hear from you and give you a shout out. So uh, my cameraman can go ahead and call you out there. Yeah, we got Missouri checking in. Good old Mizzou. Uh, West Virginia people, hi, hi. Uh, they're slowly coming in, so as they come in, I'll keep going. So if you put coffee in there and then heat it up, it can't go. Well, no, you wouldn't heat it up. Yeah, well, Sorry, we're like having a side conversation. Hey. What, what were you saying? And New Hampshire <laughs> is in the house. Mizzou is in the house again. Yeah, Mizzou, Mizzou Missouri. Oh, my goodness. Minnesota, Hi. Kentucky, Hi. New Jersey. Hello, everyone. Missouri, I said that Norristown. I'm assuming that's PA, Louisiana. Minnesota, Arkansas, okay. Bay A area is in the house. Yeah, Virginia. Asked, oh, sorry, I, I totally cut you off there. But if you're tuning in for the first time, let us know. You know, mention that in the comments as well. Like always, we we just like to hear from you and you know be a little bit more interactive since we are you know live and ready to go here. Hey, Virginia in the house. Two up, two down. <laughs> Texas, Nebraska, Michigan, yeah, Philly, Philly, and Maryland. The DMV is oh, checking nice. in. There's so many people today. Awesome. If this is your first time, type in first time. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Happy first time. Or just Hello. check in the number one. Number one? Yeah. Yeah. Because I work first time here. That's right. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so I really love these little camper mugs. Um, if And if you're a camper, there's, of course, you have these. You already do. I'm sure you do. But they are really great because they have that really nice wide opening, and they're good for, you know, heating up soup or having some hot cocoa, which, I mean, who wouldn't love hot cocoa in this little mug? So we're going to go ahead and sublimate a few of them for you today, just so you can see how easy they are. Uh, we're going to be, we've printed out our designs with our Sawgrass uh, Virtuoso printer with our sublimation ink. All of the designs are mirror printed and we're going to just wrap them around our mugs and print some. Yay. All right, so I'll go ahead and start. We're going to do the red one first. Which is lovely. Smoke. Yes. Hey, good job, first so timers. Trim this that way. Congrats and welcome. You came at a good time, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm going to trim ow, this ow. up just a little bit more. All right, while we're there trimming, I'm going to give some more shout outs here. We got PA is in the house. Virginia is in the house. We got a lot of first timers here. All right. Great to hear. Cherry it's Hill. Cherry Hill is in the house. Currently in Florida. I'm jealous. Ooh. I heard it's cold in Florida, though. So what? I don't know. I've never heard. Uh, who else we got? We got Indiana is in the house. North Carolina. Okay, so once you, I've trimmed up my, my design. I do like to keep the paper a little bit longer than needed just to kind of wrap all the way around the mug. I don't ever want to get my mug dirty or have some excess that could get on the side that I'm not printing on, on the white side. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the design kind of in the spot that I I want. I don't know if you. I mean, you can see through the paper. There you, go. you can see through the paper when you're up close, but I don't know if you can see through it when you're not. And the great thing about these camper mugs, that little lip is going to kind of sit right inside your press. So just make sure you have enough space to accommodate 
you know, the edge of your mug press and then a little bit further in. So I wouldn't go right up to the top. Leave that little bit of space to make sure that you're going to get a nice print. All right. And that looks good. I'm just going to, I've cut two pieces of my transfer tape and you're just going to attach it to either side. I just cut you some. Oh, did you? Oh, I'll use it for the next one. A uh, quick question comes in. What paper are you using? So this is text print paper and we did a sublimation print on it. So uh, text print R paper technically. And that's the ideal paper to use for the Virtuoso Sublojet UHD or HD ink. All right, so my paper is on there. I've secured it with tape. It looks like this one. I actually am gonna need another piece of little tape. I did not put my tape on very straight. Okay, taped it. And now I'm just gonna put it right into the mug press. So I'm gonna push it this way and I'm gonna have this lip hit the, the edge of my press. Is this the best way to show you? Yep, go ahead. Yes, okay. So we're gonna just slide it on in and close and lock and start my timer. I'm at 385 degrees and we're on for about 180 seconds. And you can kind of see, I can, I guess I can, can turn it around here. Temperature is going there you down go. fast. So you can kind of see this is, the lip is over the heating element, which is fine because we don't, you can't, you wouldn't be able to put it right up, right in the heating element because it's too wide. Yeah. And you're right. The temperature does drop down. So we were at 385. It dropped all the way down to 340 and it's, it drops down so quickly on the mug press because these are very cold. And when you put a cold item into a hot mug press, that temperature is going to drop. And that's why we're keeping in for 180 seconds. We've accommodated for that drop in temp. They and then, cold. yeah, they are. Our house is a little cold. But, <laughs> but once you uh, once you leave it in there, it will sublimate for the amount of time that it needs, and it will be just fine for when it comes out and it's done. All right. Got some more shout outs coming really quickly. Um, we got Georgia, Northern Virginia, Rhode Island, Louisiana, um, Texas. Uh, yeah, quick question. Um, would you be able to print on the handle and how? Well, you wouldn't print on the handle because it's already colored for you. So that area is not prepped for sublimation. Only the surface of the mug is. Uh, okay, I got a couple questions in real quick uh, from Barbara's Minis. Uh, she says, do you not use a cover sheet with, the, with, that, with that one? You wouldn't need one. You absolutely could if you uh, want to use like a silicone sheet, a parchment, or the nonstick sheet. You can definitely wrap that around the mug to keep your heating element clean, but it's not mandatory to wrap it around the camper mugs. Okay. But keeping your heating element clean, there's nothing wrong with, with wrapping it. And Arturo says, uh, what kind of vinyl can you use for coffee mugs? So if you're printing, if you don't have a sublimation printer and you'd rather do vinyl, you would use the adhesive sign vinyl to adhere to a mug surface. So those are, it's pressure applied and then you don't need any kind of heat or a mug press to do so. Now with this press, or I'm sorry, with this mug, with this camper mugs, yes. can you do one side sublimation and one side signed vinyl or another vinyl? Yeah, if uh, you wanted to print, so if I have this printed and I wanted to put like a name or kind of do something on the back, absolutely. Print your sublimation side first and then go ahead and put your signed vinyl on the back side. So if you're, you would do that if you're kind of like, uh, prepping these in advance and then somebody would come into your shop and say, oh, I want, you know, this name on the backside or this campsite on the backside. Then you could do that separate and sign vinyl. But if you're printing all at one time, just turn off my timer there. If you're printing all at once. You can sublimate on that reverse side too. So you can just keep your print going. All right. Okay. Open up the press, pull it out. These are super hot. And ta -da! now that is mine. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm sorry, I moved it on you. There you go. Oh, my camera is stuck. Why? I don't know. Hold on one second. <laughs> I am literally frozen. Are you good? No. Oh. No. I'm sorry, everyone. If you can still hear me, I am 
currently having technical difficulties and we are frozen at the moment. Hold on what? one second. We're frozen. Are we frozen? We yes, frozen. we are. I don't even Maybe know it's, why. It's not detecting. It's not anything. even. No, <laughs> I am sorry. Hold on one second, guys. If it's still on, I don't even know if it's still live now because I don't know what's going on. I, I literally Gabby? don't. It's it's plugged in. Did you go get my phone in the back? <sighs> See, one second, one second. Is it the connection? No. Can you hear me out there? If you can hear me, put a thumbs up. We can hear you. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Give me one. I don't know why my camera just decided to shut down on me. Can you swap out to the other one? Oh, I'm going to have to. Hold on one second. Sorry, everybody. Hang in there. We'll be right back. I am so sorry. Never had a technical difficulty like this in the middle of live taping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to switch up here. Give me one second. I am so sorry, everyone. Give me one second. I got to get out of this mode. I'm sorry. Live camera. This is what happens. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're, We're okay. back. We're, We're live. Good. All right. Hop off there. We don't need okay. this. Okay. Sorry. I am so sorry, everyone. <laughs> All right, well, it's a good thing we have extra camper mugs uh, to decorate. So we'll kind of start all the way back from the beginning. Hi, I'm Kim. All right. So we're, we're good? We are. Yeah, we are. Everybody can hear why. us okay? Yeah, they can hear. I don't know why I got all are my stuff closing? on my screen, though. Again? No, but we are currently shooting. So, okay, go ahead. We're, we're still live. We're good? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we uh, just finished printing the red one. So we'll go ahead and print. Why don't you get the black one out? We'll print the black one out. Um, I'm guessing here. Um, here. I don't know. Nope, that's the red one. Oh, maybe I'm on nope. the black one. Uh huh. I am. Because <laughs> this one's right, the blue one. This one down just a little. <sighs> And all of our camper mugs are individually boxed and bubble wrapped and then wrapped in extra paper. So super protected. All right. Um, are we okay? We are not okay. Oh. Frozen again? No, my battery's dying. Oh. <laughs> and I have to change out. Is that plugged in? No. This one has the battery. I'm sorry. Battery. We are having some technical difficulties here today. I am so sorry. Uh, you give me two seconds. Uh, I'm out. And um, oh my gosh, this is horrible ah! today. Not <laughs> happening, Captain. Here we go. All right. I don't know why. There we go. We're back. Sorry. It, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we're really, really sorry. <laughs> A lot of Wrap things went wrong in that whole first segment, but we're back. And we're going to show you how to print on another enamel mug. So we have. Can we do it over? Can we just go back and do it over? Yeah. Okay. All right. So starting over. No. Or, or, oh, gosh. Let's do another live in five minutes. This is not, it's not we're, keeping the on. The connection is yeah. not working? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So give us just. A minute and come on back everybody or we're gonna stop this and restart 